Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna. If you're not new here, welcome back. Um, thank you for returning, and today is a very, very long awaited video. My real chair is finally, I'm going to show you all the features slash details on my wheelchair. So, if you guys want to see that, let's roll into the video. Okay, first, first um, thing is I have the Quantum Edge 3. It is the Sugar Plum color. I love it. And someone, uh, yeah, I, I really like this color. I was so nervous that um, I didn't know what color I would get for my meals. But I wanted the black so bad because I felt like um, the contrast with my color. And because my big wheels are, they actually give the color. Which this like, oh, as I almost take off. Yeah, I like the fact that it's contrast and um, oh, yeah, okay. So, it's nice because I think eventually my hope is that it will have like a main color and detail color like, you know, car seats or like one main color and then they have like a detail color, yeah. So, so this is kind of because my wheelchair place was so great and it was so speed or was really hustle for me and if you just want to watch that video before you watch this video which i highly recommend because i really do take you on the journey of me trying to get this chair um so so it is called my custom wheelchair journey so because they were so we usually what happens delivery of a wheelchair at my wheelchair place is you have a PT and my tech uh, yeah PT a physical therapist and a tech and so because they were so rushed or like they were nice enough to rush my wheelchair the wheelchair tech and the PT were not able to meet yeah, because it wasn't, they only me like, they only worked together one day a week. With that being said, they were able to get, um, PT was unable to look at me and how I sit in the chair. So I have my, my old footrest currently on until we get, um, the PT and my wheelchair guy together, which, Luckily for me, it's next. My appointment was able. We were able to get in next week, so that's gonna be nice. And I will have to take. I will insert a picture of my footrest. So this is why it's important to keep your wheelchair, your old wheelchairs around, because you might have to um make shift early. Take some parts of your old wheelchair to make it okay for the time being until you figure it out. It also has a just so armrest like this. So I can easily do that. Anyway, you guys get the idea. I'm not gonna throw both of them back, so there we go. Also, the coolest feature yet on this wheelchair is my eye level. Now, most of you probably don't know what eye level is because I didn't know what eye level was until my wheelchair guy told me about it. And I thought, to be honest, 12 years ago, that wasn't going to be my future. But technology has changed. And I'm so excited, and this is a really cool feature. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that is up as high as I can go, and that is called eye level. So, hypothetically, if you're in the grocery store and people don't see you, you can easily go up so that you can see what's around you without um, and people have an easier time now running into you. But if you're up this high, I cannot drive. But if you go up down a little lower, you're still able to drive like um like but I am up as high as you can go. And this is so weird to be recording like this. So here we go and that. I also have the feature of tilting back as far as while well, I'm so eye level up as high as I can go. And that is one feature I thought I would never or back twelve years ago when I first got my old wheelchair, which I will be referring to in um as my old wheelchair slash my current chair. So let me turn so you guys can see this. So so my um this wheelchair which is very different from my last wheelchair is it had a cup holder which my junior used to have a cup holder. But it was like, or my mom put it on there, but it didn't come with, um, one. So it's a very nice feature to have a cup holder and not have to worry about holding on to stuff, to be honest. Really. Yeah. So, I love my cup holder. I've never had these before on any of my wheelchairs, and this is my fifth wheelchair, guys. Fifth wheelchair, can you believe that? Or fifth motorized wheelchair, let's say that. And, um, well, I can believe it. <laughs> um, this is, they both have, pa um, like little packs on each side. So, um, I will do that. It has packs, so I usually put my phone or my AirPods in there so that I always have my phone. Even though the other night I forgot my phone was in here and didn't know where it was. And then my mom, I was like, Mom, where's my phone? And she was like, on it, it's in your pack. During your like little bath. So, with that being said, you can easily forget stuff, but that's in here. Now, the one of the uh, besides the eye level and the totally mag, this is probably one of the coolest features. I have lights. Let there be lights. Okay. My wheelchair seat is actually curved, which helps with my arching, I want to call it. Um, because when I talk, I arch like this, and I'm kind of doing it a little more pronounced so that you guys can see on, on camera. Um, but yes, it is very uh, arch, and it's actually tilted back a little bit to help my, um, to help me scoop back. So, let's talk about my seat for a minute. So, with this seat, it is Velcro. It is made by, uh, it is made by AccuSoft. 
and this velcro link to turn it on and off there we go there's the right sentence okay so with that being said there are two liners i really love about this chair one there's my my netting right here which that is so easy to wash and then there's another protective liner in the seat so or on the seat so if the if the liner gets um gets dirty i can just throw the liner or like the the nutting part in or if the if everything gets dirty i can throw everything in both liners and it's easy to wipe off and uh, for example i ate a big mac for dinner one night and um i got big mac sauce on my meal cover but my then it was so easy to wipe on it or wipe off the big mac and you can hardly see that there's Big Mac, or like, there was Big Mac sauce right there. So, that is one thing I like about, you know, when I spilled stuff on the other wheelchair, it wasn't so, it was harder to clean off. And um, there was only one line, only one liner, or one cover, not two covers. And then, I also like this chair because it doesn't make you so hot. When when I was in my other chair, I would be so, my back would be so sweaty. Or I would be so sweaty because, unfortunately, my seat has to be black. Which I don't know why that is. But, you know... With how my wheelchair is set up, I am hoping, or I'm hopeful, that we can use a transfer board, and I'll pop a picture, I'll pop a picture up so that you guys can see what a transfer board is to make um make it um less impact on my parents and and um, make me make me stronger. But um, we'll see. With this chair, this is probably ha oh my god, this wheelchair has probably been the most difficult transition or the the hardest to think yeah most difficult transition that I, I have had. And that is probably due to the whole um six or three I don't know that the phrase that I have eye level, but um that's gonna be a whole nother video because I have lots to say about eye level, and I don't want to be um and this video is already long enough. So with that being said, if you want to see what my what my life is how we're trying to figure out i level stay tuned that video is coming um i will and the things we have to change or think about when i get a new wheelchair anyway so that video is coming i mean i try my hardest to have it um up as soon as i can Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video and I remember to keep on rolling.